Hey guys, in this video I will show you how we can write all outdated Flutter project like this. This one is clear, uh, lastly updated in 2020. This one is not supporting Flutter null safety or Flutter 3. So I will show you how we can run this kind of outdated project in 2023 or later. So see, first I will clone the project from GitHub. Okay, let's open the project with Android Studio. Okay, and easiest method for running this kind of project, this this can be run as normal project. So you can see there's issues. Even if we fix this issue, we can have many issues with latest version. So easiest way I found running this kind of project, create a new Flutter project with same name as this project name. So I will first I will create the new Flutter project. You can see. So this project name is a Prata underscore app. I will create a new project with this name. Uh, I only want Android and iOS. If you want, you can check other version as well. So I will create new project. Open it and open it separately. So now we have both project. Uh, first thing I will do, I will copy all the Dart file from the old project. So we have to replace even main main Dart file. We will replace with new one. okay now next we have to copy the uh, dependency packages two packages they used so i will copy these packages as well But you can see this dependency package versions are not supporting with latest Flutter version. So uh, one thing you can simply do, remove the package number and try it again. So, but you can see it's still Carousel Pro package is not supporting with Flutter 3. Uh, let's check what happened this Carousel Pro package. Let's Google that. Okay. okay now you can see this package is not updated for flutter null safety and latest version so this is outdated package you cannot use it latest version so what we have to do this kind of situation we simply comment the package and we comment all the corresponding code for this package so we have to completely uh, comment and if you really want we have to find another suitable package alternative package for this situation but in here i'm not uh, adding another package for that but, uh, but if you want you have to add so next we have to uh, update refactor this code these issues are coming because uh, this all project is not supporting our safety and we have to fix all these issues by manually by using this 
have a id suggestion so it's not much hard but it has we have to spend some time you can see clearly i will refactor the entire code by following this suggestions so this here i'm recommend you to use android studio so i am not big fan of the vs code but if you really want you can use it but uh, doing this kind of thing is in android studio is very easy so you can see here even some packages are like their parameter names are changed so in this kind of situation you have to check through the package and use your rotten knowledge you have to use your rotten knowledge to refactor this code some places so since these projects are real world this kind of things are really changed so with new versions so uh, see i will change in this part great Here I will leave the Carousel Pro until I finish other all. Finally, we can check that. We have we have repeat same thing. You can see most of the recommended keyword and key we have to enable nullable. So yeah, we have to do same thing in all the application. Now we have few left. So let's finish this. Okay, this one is about to code testing. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, here, here Carousel. You can see here they use Carousel Pro dependency. I will simply I will comment this part. This one. So yeah, I will comment. I will put the placeholder. I will put the placeholder in this place. So at the moment, uh, temporarily. So here we have to also co comment package import. So okay, now we have no errors. But you can furthermore you can check this warning and update. But I will not do that in here. So let's run the project. Okay, you can see now our project is successfully built and running. There's a one thing I missed. Uh, I didn't copy the asset folder, so let's copy the assets. So here we can have the copy the asset folder and paste it in here. Then we have to update pubspec.yaml file. So here we can we can have we can here let's copy this part copy entire part and paste in the our project yeah I will paste in here okay put the space okay now there's a font so I will also copy the this part. Okay, get paste. Okay, now run the pub get and I will 
Full round budget. Okay, now you can see this very old project is running without having any issue. So you can see this. You can you can now you follow this code. You can continue this project. So you can do whatever you want. So so here you can see project is completed running so that's that's all for this video guys so thanks for watching hope this, this video will help you to help you